Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and I hope you're ready for the biggest action game of the century. Today, we are cleaning pools in a game called Pool Cleaning Simulator, which is a fitting name. So yes, this is another oddly specific simulation game. Uh, the demo came out about a year ago now, maybe a little less than that. Uh, I actually skipped that because I wanted to wait for the full release and see if it's any good. So yeah, we're going to be checking it out today. And right now, we have to start off by going to Neighborhood Pool Part 1. Actually, more specifically, we have to get a, we have to do some errands. So we need a sponge, a pressure washer, and a container of chlorine. And then we're ready for a real party. All right, so first and foremost, we have to buy our power washer. $40. I mean, this is, this is easy money. I only got $100 in the game, though. So I'm assuming this is the pressure washer. Indeed, it is. Buy a container of chlorine tabs. Is that these things? That's a container of chlorine. Close enough. All right, so we got our pressure washer. Oh, the things wiggle because they're nervous about me moving things to them. There we go. We got a sponge, and then we got a container of chlorine. I do like that you kind of have to kit yourself out in this game. That's actually pretty cool. So let's go back to the mail, and we got Tommy, the customer. All right, his pool is still uncleaned after the winter. I mean, obviously, if you don't clean it, it's not going to be clean. It's full of all... Or he, he needs full algae removal, de disinfection of water with chlorine tabs, floater, and what? I'm bored already. Let's just get into it. All right. Empty the pool. Clean the pool. Fill the pool. Put the floater in the pool. Fill floater. We have to blow up floaters. That's kind of hilarious. Optional is to collect the 15 ducks. Oh, God. All right. I have to find all 15 now. Well, I found a truck. I can actually move said truck. Can I, can I put the truck in my... Wait. What? What is going on? Are they like a fan of me? Why do they have a truck of my truck? All right. Well, I'm just going to put that there for the time being. Where's the pool? All right. Here's the pool. Fun fact. This is actually the front menu. So uh, I, I already knew where the pool was. Oh, sorry about your chair. Hold on here. Let me just... Let me just... How do I drop it? Oh, God. I found a duck. What What the hell do I do with these ducks? Do I have to put them in my truck? Oh, my God. There's ducks everywhere. Just look. <laughs> Maybe I should just do the job. Damn it. I see another one in the tree. I've already collected three of them I, I don't know how to put them in my truck all right so we'll worry about the ducks later let's actually start this thing what is this why oh maybe i should pay attention that's probably where we put said ducks okay we have found five out of the 15 ducks how exciting i see another one already okay well obviously there's not many places for these things to hide there's another one there too all right first and foremost unload the pool Oh, wow. There's actual water physics. Look at that. Oh, fancy. All right. That's good enough for me. Start cleaning. You need to get the sponge out of the van. God damn. Why didn't I do that at the start? All right. What, what do I do? Oh, I have to hold each object. Okay. So first and foremost, a scrubby scrub. And oh, that is going to look nice once it's done. I do have to actually like aim this thing and move it around. Do I have to wet the sponge or clean it? I guess not. It's a very powerful sponge. Question, why did I buy a power washer if I'm doing it this way? I feel like the power washer would do a great job at doing this, and it'd be way easier. Oh. Well, thanks, Tutorial. You just you just answered my question. Why would you make me use a sponge? All right, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like I've played a game similar to this before. There we go. I do have to say, the sponge was way better at uh, getting rid of the grime, though, but this is easier. All right, that's nice and clean. At least we know. We, when, when you hear the ding, it's done, baby. Honestly, might like the sponge a bit more. Now, we can get power wash upgrades, so I might go back to that. But I, I like the sponge because I don't have to go over an, an, an area more than once. This is actually way faster. Right, I'm not sure what the hell I'm missing. I have been scrubbing the pool for a while. I wonder if I should get the power washer out again. I have a feeling it will tell me when it's fully cleaned. Oh, there we go. Okay, there was something on the back wall there. That took forever. <laughs> I miss Power Wash Sim and its little dirt radar. This game doesn't have that. It's definitely more hard mode. Uh, I have found 12 out of the 15 docks, so there's still a couple around. I guess technically a few, but shut up. Who cares? I guess right now we can fill the pool again. Yes, come in, water. This is an efficient system. All right, where the hell are these other ducks? I have to see what we get for all the ducks, man. Aha! I found one. All right, I legit don't know where the ducks are. They're hidden better than they seem. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go back to purifying. Water does look a little bit green. So we'll grab our tablets. I think we just pour them in there. There we go. I think one is enough, right? Throw it in here. 
And it does its thing, right? Oh, I see you! Ha ha! You thought you were gonna get away, weren't you, you little jerk? All right, and that water is definitely looking already way less green. That is a nice pool, if I do say so myself. Is that the dock? I found it! A job well done, if I do say so myself. That is 15. Don't lie to me. There we go. We got everything. All right, I have to say, I dig that. That was very satisfying to do. I hope they get a bit more complex in this pool. Obviously, I think they will. So let's get out of here and see how much we earned day one. How the hell do I get out of here? Ah, we got to hit, hit complete. All right, complete. Hey, man, thank you so much for finding those ducks. Those are collectibles. Who knows where those gummy birds would end up if not for you. So I gained an extra $10 for finding 15 ducks, it looks like. Yay. Murder swimming pool, excuse me. <laughs> Let me, all right, let's start off with hotel pool, I guess. So yes, we've done the tutorial and now the game is opened up. We have multiple options now. On behalf of the Hotel Paradise, I seek a professional pool cleaning service. Well, you don't want to talk to me then. <laughs> they could work on our piranha problem. What the hell? What is this game? Okay, come I thought this was a serious game. No longer think that. One of our customers accidentally let those vicious fishies in our pool and we had to evacuate the whole area. If you can make them disappear and clean our pool, it would be great. Remember about changing the filter. Code for our pipe box is 2137. This pipe system is kind of complicated, so here are the instructions. All right, I'm bored. I'll just read it later. All right, so I need a filter for this job and a landing net. Ooh, that is expensive. I want to get the upgrades. Uh, wide tip? Yes, please. That was $50. And maybe I shouldn't have bought the wide tip already. <laughs> Underwater vacuum cleaner. I thought those were goggles. That looks fun. A wrench of all things. Maybe I should just buy one of those now. All right, let's go to our inventory and set this thing up. So I know we need the filter. We might need the chemicals. We'll get the mods in the mod folder. I'm going to grab this. The sponge. Uh, no, we need the landing net. We have no choice but to get that. Oh, an extra $100 for more spots. Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep the wrench at home. I don't think we needed that anyways. All right. Well, clearly we have a small piranha problem here. So I guess we'll start off with that. Let's grab our nets. What the hell do I do with these things? Do I just kill them? Do I have to actually... Oh my God. I have to actually scoop them. Oh my God. That's actually pretty dope. Uh, I don't want to kill this thing. What do I do with it? Don't tell me. I, I am so sorry, little guy. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm paid to do this, so I guess I have to do it. Okay, and now we just have dying piranhas over here. How nice. This, this this game's great. All right, I probably should have paid attention to the email. I don't even know where I empty this pool. Can I pull the fire alarm? What the hell did I just do? What? Is this a puzzle? I don't like puzzles, man. What is that? Pipes is kind of complicated. Here are the instructions. To get the pool empty, you have to push the red button. I already did that. And move the red lever. I love how I did the right thing, not even knowing what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I do know we have the code for that, so I might need to put that code in first. What was the code? 2137. 2137. Uh, and then red lever, it said, right? Okay. It sounds like it's, it's working. What the hell is this thing then? I thought this was the red button it was talking about. I don't think it was. So I had to hit the other red button. This is bad. This is really gross. All right, pool's emptied. Now for the fun part. I'm actually, I, as I said, the sponge is just way better. Actually, let me check. Hold on. With the new mod, this one might be a little bit better. How do I attach said mod? Oh, yeah. I think it said Q. So if I use Q, yes, we got the wide boy attachment. Oh, yeah. It's still, it takes so long to get rid of all the dirt. I'd rather do a first pass with the sponge. So I at least know it's pretty much 100% clean. I didn't think about this. I wonder if I can give you guys some water. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, so far, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm excited to see where this game goes. All right, let's see if I did this right. I took my time. I didn't go fast around. Am I going to finish it when I'm done this final blob? Please, because it took me forever last time to find the last little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I still got a lot. Oh, okay. Never mind. Not... <laughs> I'm not complaining now. All right, and I did notice the optional on this is to find the hidden treasure. Obviously, we did the first part. That was this button thing. Can't do anything with that anymore. What did that change? What did that unlock? <gasps> oh, there's more buttons. Okay, so I think we just got to find all the little Rubik's Cubes. There's another one. There's a lot of them. I hope I don't have to do this in a, some sort of order. I mean, they're all the same color, so I doubt it. Oh God, how many buttons is there freaking everywhere? How did I only see one until now? I think that was like the seventh one I've pressed. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> I 
love that I saw it open too. Ah, oh, give me the treasure. Oh my God, I found gold. I don't get to grab it though. Come on. All right, well, we have found the treasure. So now all we need to do is change the filter and fill the pool. What do I got to do to change the filter? All right, so it doesn't really explain much about the filter. Obviously, we have a filter here. Where do I put said filter? Okay, there it is. Found it. Changed it. Now, what the hell do I have to do? Why is this so complicated? All right, to get it filled again, turn the red valve three times, move the blue lever, and push the blue button. One. That's a really long move. Two. Three. Move blue lever, push blue button. Oh, I, that, that was a delay. I was like, how the hell did I do that wrong? Okay, how the hell do I get out of this now? I, I don't, I don't want to stay here anymore. Thank you. And we are completed. Uh, additional task, $50 this time. I also got $500 for that. Yes, please. We are earning money quickly in this game. All right, well, now that that's done, it is time for murder pool. We need uh, a UV lamp for this one and probably a new filter because I kind of used the other one. So we'll get the UV lamp. Damn it, $400. I wanted to buy this, but now I don't have any more money because I'm going to get the stupid UV lamp to see blood, I'm assuming. There was an incident in my pool lately. Such a tragedy. Someone was murdered and the police left me your contact for potential cleaning. Is it? Wouldn't that be evidence? Which I need immediately. This seems sus, man. This seems very sus. There is blood everywhere and they said some of the trash might be potential evidence. I need your services. I'm going to leave those yellow cards so you can flag it. But remember, if you pick up evidence and move it, it is as good as trash. Remember about changing the filter. Code for our pipe room is 6942. Our water system is outdated, so I will leave you some instructions. All right, and we'll worry about the instructions when we get there. Be warned that this level contains drastic elements. You want to enable censorship? <sighs> as much as I don't want to, probably for YouTube, that would be smart. Ah, uh, so yes, I turned on the family-friendly blood. Uh, thank God this game has it, because YouTube really does dock red blobs. Like, they'll look for them and ding your video. So I'm really glad to see that they uh, actually put it as green. So uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, not getting ads on this video. Thank you, developers. That was really smart. So so let's just pretend we're uh, looking for aliens. This is kind of sick, though, man. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm just looking for the bodies. What? Oh, there's going to be a body in one of these. I know it. Is this an evidence card? What the hell is this? I don't think I'm supposed to pick those up. So let's not touch anything that we don't need to. Would hate to go to jail for murder right now. I'm just... Why am I looking through all these? I feel like I'm going to find something. Like a toothbrush. Oh, I'm not, I'm not supposed to touch anything. It wasn't me. Crap. All right. There's nothing in those. All right. I guess we should start by emptying the pool. How the hell do I do that? Okay, so we do have the evidence markers here. I don't know what the hell that thing was then. What, what, what the hell does this mean? It's got numbers on it. All right, I'm going to say that that might be evidence. Jane Smith. Let's go see what happens when I put one of these on that. Do we have to do it in order? No, this is just evidence cards. So if I put that there, is that evidence? Oh, yeah. There's a little green thing. Done. I did one. Okay, so I get how we do the evidence now. What the hell is this? Oh, lipstick on a cup. It's Jane Smith's lipstick. This is so cool. I thought I'd be cleaning pools in this game. I'm solving murders right now. Oh, I feel like that's cheating. You can just walk. Oh, God. That's blood. You can just walk around with these things and see the green spots where you're supposed to put them. Kind of cheap. Is that a finger? No, that would, that, that would be a shotgun shell or shotgun casing. All right. And is this evidence as I assumed? Yes, it is. We got her lipstick. Therefore, DNA. And... Obviously, that's all evidence that's already been found. Purse, that's probably evidence. There's another one of these weird notes. What is this? Oh, this is an email address. Oh, God. I hope that wasn't freaking evidence. Oh, God damn it, it was. Now my fingerprints are all over it. Okay, so that means that the other one's probably evidence. I think I found all the evidence already. So we'll go over to the other one that I also might have touched. Wait, there's evidence here, too. There's another shot. There's evidence everywhere. Wait, I have to figure out which one's evidence and which one's pointless. Well, that's definitely evidence, so we'll put that there. And we'll put... I think this is like GPS coordinates or something, so we'll put that there. There we go. We got all the optional evidence. All right. Maybe we should actually do the job we're supposed to do now. I also love how there's still ducks here. All right, this is... Yeah, there's the room. Okay, so we got the key code here. What was it? Uh, 6942. Okay, that's open. Push the blue button. Turn the blue in cyan knob and move the blue lever. All right, so push the blue button. 
Turn the cyan and blue knobs and then move the blue lever and we should be empty in this bad boy. No, did I do it wrong? Oh, it's working. It did make a noise. Okay, so I did do it right. It's just very, very slow, this one. They did say it was old. So I guess we can just start cleaning now. Start up up here. Wow. Is this... Is this really this bad? Am I not supposed to clean that? What the... How do I deal with the freaking blood? Oh, I see there's blood everywhere. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. So yeah, you can actually see how easy it pops. Like, there's certain stains here. And I'm assuming I'm going to need this to find all the stains. Because it's going to be very hard to see them without that. So, do I use the sponge? I didn't bring the sponge. Crap. I just now realized there's a dead body over there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, pool's been emptied. Maybe now will be easier? Oh, okay. So, there was some invisible force field that allowed me not to clean while the pool's being emptied. I get it now. Thank you. And yeah, I'm assuming this UV is to help me see the stains because some of them are pretty hard to see. Oh, thank you for the ding. That was very sweet of you. Oh my god, this is going to take me forever. Is the green between the cracks supposed to be there? Or is that blood that I can't get off? Also, it's like extra trolly. Even like the uh, piping for the um, diving board's green. So I sprayed that for way too long thinking it was still bloody, but no, it's not. All right, the final little bit at least of deep dirt. And there we go. Pool is indeed clean. So I think all we need to do now is these two blood stains, one over there and one over here. And then I think we could be done. All right, that one's done. What the hell is that? Is that a piece of trash? Probably. Where the hell do I put it? Ah, that would make sense. In you go. Yes, I got one out of 20. Sick. That part's done. We're very, very close now. And I have a whole massive blood stain on the other side. So I think there is a lot of room for error on this one. Makes sense. It's a pretty big job. I feel wrong cleaning this up. Isn't this, like, supposed to be part of evidence? Let me just clean this ID card of all its fingerprints. I mean, I guess it's ID, so we 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 know whose it is already. <laughs> oh, okay. And that is the majority of the really bad stuff. So now we actually... Oh, didn't see that. All right. Just clean this here. We shouldn't need the UV for this. I mean, maybe we do. Clearly, I'm blind. Like, how did I not see that? Like, it is pretty hard to see, as you can see, without the UV. So, super cool that that thing helps so much. There we go. Now I see where it is. And done. Okay, so I think that was... I don't think that was blood. So I think I did the evidence wrong. I think the whole goal was to figure out what's evidence and what's trash. I might go back and try and figure that out later. What the hell is that? Is there a book under there? Is that a Bible? I think I'm definitely doing this wrong, only because my trash is already filled to the point where I can't even... <laughs> Add more to it. I mean, I'm, I'm throwing out a purse right now. I feel like that could definitely be something that was part of the murder. And uh, I'm just going to go out and say that the knife is probably part of the murder as well. So I might have to move some of these around and just hope for the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling so much to get these things in here. All right, let's maybe take the purse out. I can't take the purse out now. It's actually stuck. Great. Uh, I think I'm going to say screw it to the evidence. Can I move this? I can't. I can't move these now. <laughs> Once they're locked in, they're locked in. All right. Well, I guess we'll just throw out the knife. Because that's clearly trash and not the murder weapon at all. I mean, to be fair, there was shotgun shells, so maybe it was just a random, you know, massive knife. You never know, man. You never know. All right, we're at 16 out of 20. I just need to find small items that can somehow fit in there. I wonder if I can use the old filter as garbage. I need one more piece. So I'm hoping for that because I can't find any. Damn it. All right, so please tell me this works. There we go. We got the old red filter. I love that it's red from, you know, the blood. Did that work? I put it in there, but no, it didn't work. Damn it. Of course it didn't. All right. Well, we saw how slowly pool depleted. So let's, uh, as we're looking for the final piece, fill this thing. All right. Turn red valve two times. Turn black, yellow knob and push green button. All right. Black and yellow knob and push green button. Hope I didn't have to do those knobs in order. Water. All right, there we go. So yeah, I just had to do the knobs in the right order. And we have water coming back in. Oh, wait, 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 please. Oh, it doesn't work. It's not letting me put it away, you jerks. All right, well, I'll store that. Well, a little bit of a problem, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, in my quest for the final piece of trash, which uh, I've been looking for for like 20 minutes now, I got stuck in a corner. 
Like, I'm legit. I've tried for like five minutes now to get out of here. I'm, I'm legit stuck. And of course, you can't jump in this game because jumping doesn't exist in real life, I guess. So yeah, safe to say game's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay because I do love the premise on, uh, on every one of these maps. The major downside is I can't actually complete the quest until I get that final piece of trash. So does it save? I hope it saves. I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. Regardless, we did do the mission. I just got to find one more piece of trash. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it does a good job on making a seemingly boring job really, really exciting. And yeah, I'd love to check out more of it if you guys are enjoying it, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, <laughs> thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one. This is so frustrating.